Alright guys, so today we've got a new developer update. This one is focusing on the Utah offensive mode rework and we're getting a little bit more than just an offensive mode. So let's have a look and see what the devs are giving us. So first up, they actually tell us that they've got quite a few maps currently in the work from the Summary Demont rework to several Eastern Front maps and to an unannounced Western Front map. And I gotta say, I hope that the Western Front map is another like snow-based map like Bastogne or something really unique. And the devs have said that they will be bringing an offensive mode for every single map in the game, which is awesome news. Update 9 will also bring some changes to how offensive mode will actually work. They haven't said what these are going to be yet, but what they're trying to do is reduce the overall match time of offensive mode to bring it something closer to the normal warfare mode match time. You know, warfare is set to run for a maximum of 90 minutes and offensive mode can actually take longer than that depending on how long it takes to capture the points. I hope they're not doing something just like reducing the time you get to capture the points in offensive mode because it can be quite difficult to capture some of the points sometimes so it would be interesting to see what they actually do here and now let's look at the Utah Beach offensive modes and Utah Beach though is getting an offensive mode where the US and the German forces will be attacking you know you get two different variations of it each version will have its own unique weather and lighting and you can see in the screenshots I'm not sure which one is which but you can see the more sort of hazy bluey sky and then you get this cloudy version instead but not sure which one is which the US offensive mode will actually start landing on the beach just like Omaha as well I can imagine the US offensive mode being quite difficult you know getting off the beach especially on your own Omaha it can be really difficult and there's not a lot of cover but the Germans do have a much bigger advantage on Omaha with the cliff face being able to shoot down onto it. But with Utah, you don't really get that. There is like the trench system at the end of the beach with bunkers and stuff. But I think Utah would be a bit easier to get off the beach than Omaha. And then moving on to the next capture points, I don't think there's too much cover for the US. You know, when you're attacking that hill, or any of the other capture points in that sort of area so it could be a difficult one for the US to progress unless they are you know reworking the map a bit adding in extra cover stuff like that we just gotta wait and see the devs have actually also reworked the hedgerow assets and the hedgerows actually look better and they said this should actually improve the performance of the game as well because these hedgerow assets are used across the other maps, they haven't actually said this, but I'm assuming that they've just upgraded that actual asset itself and that should carry across onto the other maps. I'm hoping that's the case, or at least I'm hoping they will revisit the older maps and then put those new assets in. Because if it's going to give us better performance, then yeah, definitely do it. For the Axis offensive mode, when they're attacking from you know, their end of the map, I guess depending on what points are active at the start it could be difficult because there's some like quite large open spaces with uh, water around which can really slow their advance and really bog them down. So they've done some more optimization for Utah as well. They haven't really said what this is apart from the assets but they have said that with their tests on the new Utah beach they've seen increased frame rates on all machines they've tested which is, yet yeah, again, great news because performance is one of the biggest negatives with this game and it's one of the biggest complaints I see is that the performance just isn't there and that's one thing they really need to improve on. So let me know what your thoughts are on the new Utah rework based on all the screenshots we're seeing here. I hope you enjoyed the video, so give it a like, subscribe for more and thank you for watching.